amazing, amazing year. The highlights of the week for uh, TBM, well, number one is this milestone of 900 aircraft and the 900 delivery that took place a week ago. We also had great success with our application, uh, Me and My TBM, that you can download out of the App Store. And obviously, uh, everyone got to appreciate the camaraderie and the sharing of experience of ownership of the TBM. Coming to Oshkosh is the good way of meeting not only the good customers that we have in America, but also all our pilots that are even closest close customers because they are part of the family for us. It's a fast airplane, it's a powerful airplane where you can quick go up to 28,000 feet and be above the weather where it's always comfortable flying. My name is John Sabas and I'm here with my good friend Nicolas celebrating the 900th delivery of the TBM aircraft, a 30-year partnership between Pratt Windy Canada and De Hare. We're very proud to be here, very proud to be part of this team. The 900 delivery was important because we've been working with Da Hare for over 10 years. You know, Garmin could be called a supplier, but we work best with organizations that work with us as partners. And if you look at this airplane, you see that innovation come through. I'm very excited to have received the 900th TBM it was amazingly squawk free on the trip coming back from uh, France. Looking forward to flying it another five years as we did the 850. In 2017, AirVenture 2017, I was talking with my curator and Zach heard that you were interested in wanting to donate the airplane to the museum. And so we got really excited about it and we looked over the airplane and the ability to have this beautiful airplane in the museum was really, really thrilling. I'll tell you what, I've never seen a more passionate group of owners than the TBM owners. Having been one myself, I can tell you they love to fly, they take care of their airplanes, and they love to share the experience of flying a TBM. You got a great product. AirVenture 2018 is one of the highlights of my whole year. I just saw the My TBM app. I'm going to be downloading that. I'm pretty excited to see how my ranking compares to all the other TBM pilots. It should be pretty fun to use. This winter we had a very memorable flight. Yeah, yeah. That giant blizzard that came up the East Coast, we had to beat it back to New York to get the plane in the hangar. So we were at 31,000 feet right at the top of it. Not something that could have been done in, in any any, other plane? any general plane. aviation plane at a lower altitude. A very capable airplane, just for very me, capable. I, I re realized at that point what a great machine this was. Working at Dyer was absolutely wonderful. I really got to meet a bunch of wonderful new people and experience French culture in a new way. The biggest thing that I got out of my internship experience was a lot of insight on the way the aviation industry works and how engineering works as a whole. Uh, this is a mask similar to what we all have in a TBM. Every time I take a breath, that noise that you're hearing essentially blocks out me hearing air traffic control. The good news is that there is a solution, and that is noise cancelling. I mean, you just need this. This week for Dyer is not just, you know, about the booth and the action here on the ground, it's also a big uh, celebration during the Young Eagles Gala Dinner. We were able to recognize David Law, he's Mr. Oskosh for us. It was a moving moment where we could uh, express our uh, appreciation for all of he's done to bond Dyer and EAA so that our owners have a fabulous experience here at Oskosh. The best week of the year is this week. Thank you very much, sir. My first flight with a TBM was in about 19, 1987 or 88. That plane could take me any place. I flew all over the United States. I flew all over the Caribbean. Participate in the Young Eagles program, which is a great program. It gives kids an opportunity to 
experience flight probably for the first time and get them interested in studying aeronautics at a great university. Well, if you ever wanted to know what it was like to fly in a formation jet team, those guys were about 18 inches from wingtip to canopy. You can't really do it with the Blue Angels, but from the help of D.A.R.E. and their amazing people, you're going to get the chance to do that with the Breitling jet team. So let's thank him. He's been with us all night, helping along, and he's got this one, ladies and gentlemen. When you come about flying an extra, flying a TBM, or flying any aircraft, it's all about passionate pursuit of excellence. So to be successful in aerobatics, to be successful as a TBM pilot, it's important that you obsess and be passionate over being the best version of yourself, being the best pilot that you can be, and perfecting all of your skills. We'll be flying the U.S. National Aerobatic Championships in uh, September this year, hoping that I can earn a position on the U.S. Unlimited Aerobatic Team. It's fantastic to have Dyer so involved with me and to, to have the TBM community supporting me. Um, you know, I, I look up to the French aerobatic teams, and I think the French pilots have the most established success in aerobatics. And to have a French company behind me and, and to help support is just that much better.